Hi, and welcome to the Soul Naturals Happy Hour. I am so excited to be here with you. And today's topic we have titled SOS, Sending Out an SOS, Soul Oils Save. We're going to talk about strengthening mindset, balancing emotions, and supporting your body ways and strategies and tools that you have right now to manage anxiety, depression, and emotional unrest. I am the Soul Essentials Formulator. My name is Jennifer Cressimone. I am a clinical aromatherapist and herbalist. I have been using natural health for almost 20 years. I have been with Soul Natural since the beginning. Um, so I certainly believe in their philosophy. Um, it is an amazing mind, body, gut approach that helps so many. Um, and it's so versatile to help with so many different health ailments that you need, whether you're strengthening your strengths or strengthening your weak areas. So let's start by taking a personal assessment. How is your mental and emotional health? How are you? If you are a caretaker, if you're a parent, um, you know, for yourself, you want to ask this question, how is your mental and emotional health, but also how is the mental and emotional health of your family, of your friends, of people that you are seeing around you? Because this is really important this is something that everybody is, is struggling with right now, you know, feeling, oh, just so stressed out, a lot of anxiety building up, you know, the depression building up, loneliness, feeling isolated. Um, there's lots of other emotions that are coming up, anger, grief, guilt, bitterness, resentment. Um, you know, we're having more trouble focusing and staying on task, um, being decisive. There's so much, you know, uh, fear of the unknown that's going on right now. And so we want to really first by starting and taking a, a personal assessment of how are we? Because if we are not happy and healthy, we're not thriving. We might be surviving, which is okay but we want to strengthen ourselves into a thriving environment where we can do more than just survive. Let's talk about how you can achieve your happy, hopeful, ambitious, powerful, productive you. This is the place where you feel your best you feel your quality of life is really strong, you feel like you can make great decisions, you're thinking clearly, you're motivated, um, you're just really strong in who you are, what you want, and how you're going to get it. If you're not, and you're struggling with that, then I am going to be talking about some solutions that you have and things that have helped me. I know I have been on both sides of the equation, you know, and, and life is a roller coaster. We have ups and we have downs. And, you know, when we're down, we need to surround ourselves by a support system that helps to lift us up. We need to eliminate things that keep us being down, including bad habits. So sometimes that's the people around you, but sometimes that's yourself. And you know, there's a lot of things that are not in our control, but there's many things that are. So instead of focusing on what is not in your control, focus on what is. That's what we're going to be talking about today. So you can achieve your happy. This is your mind, body, gut, soul, essentials, aromatic team. This is your team. This is how you're going to do that. This right here can help you strengthen your mind, nourish your body, empower your gut, and feel comfortable at the soul level with yourself. 
So let's start by talking about the soul essential oils. Why are they unique? They were formulated, I formulated them with many reasons. There's many layers that went into formulating these blends. That way they don't just help with minor stuff, they really can help get to the nitty gritty and the roots of what's going on. So I came at putting these together for you, connecting mind, body, gut, spirit, and soul, every fabric of our being. They're multi-dimensional, meaning they're gonna go very deep, deep roots to the root of the problem, whether that's physical, mental, emotional, energetic, environmental. They're multi-purposed, meaning they don't do just one thing. They do many things simultaneously. And multifaceted, meaning that there's layers of support in various directions. They don't just help in one direction. They can actually go north, south, east, and west at the same time because they are adaptogenic, which is the foundation of Soul Naturals. Soul Naturals built this company based on how can we truly strengthen mind, body, gut. And that's by providing it with adaptogens. Adaptogens have a built-in GPS system that know exactly what needs to be revved up and energized and exactly what needs to be calmed down. And it can, it can provide energy to one organ at the same time providing relaxation to another organ. So it's multidimensional, multi-purposed, and multifaceted. So why do they help? We have chosen the highest quality that we can in these essential oils. And the way they are formulated provide synergy because there is intention behind them. The intent of how can we balance as many things within the one essential oil. And you know, we have four categories with soul. We have clarify, calm, balance, and lift. And they each have a purpose. So we looked at the purpose, we created the intention, we put quality into them to give you this profound synergy, synergistic results. So how are they designed to help you? They provide that synergistic support on all level, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic, environmental. They're pre-formulated for you. In that pre-formulation, I have balanced them out. So whatever is, is overstimulating has been calmed down to keep them very balanced so that they're safe, they're very effective, and they have focused support. They have that internal GPS system adaptogenic properties, right? And the goal is to balance imbalances while strengthening your strengths at the same time most of the time people think about oh i need help with this i need to work on something that's broken but we forget to strengthen our strengths these oils do that it is a grab and go system aka sos system your simple oil system so why does the soul aromatherapy work for mental and emotional health. The goal is to stimulate the olfaction function to address, shift, trigger your responses, reactions, and behaviors. It activates the limbic system, which are, is our emotional brain. And it activates our olfactory cortex. This is our scent identification. This is where we recognize odors because then they go into olfaction receptors and we know everybody has a unique variation within their their olfaction receptor so my olfaction receptor format or setup is different than yours that's why i like certain things and maybe you don't so it's an activator we have the olfactory bulb this is where the scent gets transmitted gets sent and we also know the olfactory bulb is the portal in which viruses and bacteria enter into the body. So strengthening your olfaction system can help at the immune level. 
We know that the aromatherapy regulates metabolic processes, your emotions, sleep, hunger, intimacy, and desire. It does that via the hypothalamus. And then through the thalamus, it's gonna help to regulate movement and thinking, which is gonna help you from, from staying, getting stuck and staying stuck. It activates memory storage, hormone secretions, decision-making, emotional responses like our fight, or flight and fear responses, that is in the amygdala. And we have a lot of research showing that there's greater activation in the amygdala when you're smelling a scent that has personal meaning. So using the soul essential blends at the time that you need it, when you use it again to manage stress, you're gonna be able to achieve that quicker, more efficiently and effectively because you've built this personal meaning and we know that there's direct neurobiological correlation. So where does the aromatherapy work? It's working from our head to our roots. It's nurturing and empowering the mind, body, and gut. It's connecting and supporting physiological, psychological, and biochemical responses for accurate and efficient communication. That may sound like a big word, but it is our gut brain circuitry, which allows us to think, feel, and have gastrointestinal support. It is our hormone and neurotransmitter uh, functions. It supports that communication and signaling. This is important for mood modulation. Our blood chemistry, so circulation, heart health, we know that's associated with feeling loved and the immune and cellular health, feeling strong versus feeling attacked. This is how aromatherapy can work and this is why it's working and where it's working. Your, your soul essential sense, and you, when you use them regularly, they can help to calm fear and transform that fear into courage with minimized resistance. It can convert negative, negative thoughts and feelings into positive, optimistic thoughts. It infuses hope and inner peace. How do you use Soul Essentials for mental and emotional support? There is a lot of historical and scientific research that shows the power of inhalation through our diffuser, using the essential oils in the diffuser, and mixing them in a carrier for a topical application. This is basically the aromatherapy is supporting from the outside in while you take your herbs that are supporting from the inside out. There's going to be synergistic results doing both. So smell your oils and take your herbs. That's why when I'm working on health issues, I not only put together an herbal program, I match up aromatherapy to drive that in deeper so results hold. And we also get that mental and emotional support. So doing herbal integration is gonna enhance that gut brain nourishment and functions. And my core herbal integration are adaptogens, probiotics, essential fatty acids, enzymes, and minerals. This is my team. So right here, you have your aromatherapy team. You have powerful, eight powerful blends right here and they are offering infinite support. So these eight provide you with infinite benefits at the same time. This is your triple A. You know, we used, you know, triple A to the rescue. We're using it here for our health recovery and maintenance. So we're doing an assessment to aid in our communication, communicate, so our soul personal assessment, we take that and it tells us what's going on. We have our soul approach, which is helping us to calibrate what's going on. We're using our soul compass approach to calibrate ourselves. And then we activate, meaning we collaborate to achieve the results that we need. So how do we do this? Let's break the AAA uh, strategy down. We're going to A, assess. What are your mental and emotional health goals? Where is the imbalance happening? This is how you will help you choose 
which of the compass blends or the sole essential uh, essential oil blends that you're going to use. So when we look at balance and courage, why would you choose balance or courage? Well, if you, you know, are having willpower uh, struggles, if you're going through some fear and you really need courage, you would choose this. If you're depressed and you really need to infuse happiness, balance and courage is part of your team. If you feel clingy, lonely, isolated, or you have children feeling like this, or parents or family or friends, and we really need to inspire independence, balance and courage is part of your team. If you're feeling angry or there's aggressive issues going on and we need to convert that into feeling content and satisfied, if you need to feel loved versus feeling abandoned, and if you need to be positive versus negative, calm and contentment are very good to help with that. To bring, um, you know, uh, self-belief, believing in, in yourself, having strong self-worth, self-esteem, and not doubting yourself, to feel balanced and equal, versus dominating or dominated, or if you're controlling or controlled, and to inspire focus and alertness versus confusion. You want to use clarify and confidence. And to feel nourished when you're going through grief. And there's a couple types of grief. There's hysteria where it's this outpouring, and then there's silent grief where people just, you know, they, they stifle it in and they hold it in. If you need to feel reassured versus anxious, if you need to feel hopeful versus disappointed, lift and comfort will be part of your team. And this is really important to assess, again, not only yourself, but your family and those around you. There are so many people suffering in silence that don't know how to ask for help or where to get help or what is even out there to help them. This is where we can pay it forward in helping others and being somebody's SOS. We can show them, hey, you can feel better. And this is how, it's very simple. So we want to look at our approach and we're gonna do the compass approach. So pick your approach. You're gonna A or number one, find your imbalance, what's imbalanced. And then whatever's imbalanced, you balance that out with the opposite direction. And then the cool thing here is with the powerful 18, you have a mix and match for customization. And so you can combine them together um, any way that you want, and you can create your own customized approach. So for Clarify, this is a camphor-esque herbal minty fresh scent. What would you use this for? To provide energy, focus, and circulation. Circulation of the mind, circulation of emotions, circulation of the gut, and of our blood system. Why would you use this one? when you feel stuck, depressed, sad, lonely, brain and fluid systems support, get things moving in the body. With Calm, this is gonna have an earthy balsamic sweet herbal scent to it. You would use it to help bring in calmness, re feeling relaxed and content when you're nervous, anxious, frazzled, having like stomach spasms or leg spasms, worry, gut and liver support. For balance, this is gonna be a floral citrusy, more lemony on the citrus side scent. It's to bring in balanced harmony and feeling connected. Everybody needs to feel connected right now. And so when you need stability, when you're feeling attacked, depressed, you have a lack of direction, when you need glandular support and urinary support. And then your lift is a spicy fruity with a hint of camphor to it. 
beautiful set and it's going to help inspire and empower your drive, passion, determination. You use this when you need comfort to feel safe, when there's anxiety, when there's grief, and when you need adrenal support. So again, you're gonna look and if you go, hmm, maybe I need a little bit of balance and clarify, then grab those two oils and diffuse that so you can mix and match for customization at the time that you need it. And then we have aromatherapy in action. This is our activation. We activate with aromatherapy. So how do you activate? You can use it daily, morning, noon, and evening, three times a day. You can also throw in a fourth time before bed. If you're having anxiety in the middle of the day, you can add in a fifth or sixth time that you're using it. What I like to do is to match it up for the time of day that I need the most support. So if you are feeling anxious or depressed, is that happening at a certain time of day? Is it more in the morning or more in the afternoon or the evening? And then add in some extra support then, and you want to diffuse that or use these roll-ons prior to that time so that now we're moving in, in into a preventative mode where you're calming a situation down before it can even arise. You can also match it up to your circadian rhythm time zones. Different organs uh, manage and go through maintenance at different times of the day. So you can match that up to circadian rhythm time zones. You can couple that with reflexology and acupressure points. You can diffuse that to manage stress, boost immunity, balance your mood, and give environmental support. Smelling that is going to help aid with digestion. So doing like the confidence or the contentment. Um, if you need to stimulate circulation, you would do confidence. If you need to calm things down, people with IBS, Crohn's, GI upset, uh, diverticulitis type issues, then you would do contentment on the belly with each meals. And so, you know, most people, uh, it's, you know, a good practice. You're eating three meals a day, so you can take your herbs when you're doing your foods. Um, so that will also enhance their effect and absorption rate. Their scent memory association. So when you're studying, and you need to retrieve that information, their scent association. So I like to do confidence or diffuse clarify for this situation. So when you're studying, you're gonna smell the clarify. When you go to take the test or you're giving a presentation, you need to recall information, you want to smell clarify again, because that's going to help heighten that memory recall. And then this is offering support in every direction and in between. So you find what you need. I like the essential oils um, to put into a diffuser. I mix it up in the Soul Flex AC cream and then the Soul Compass blends. They've already been pre-diluted for you in a beautiful carrier oil. So it makes it so simple. You don't have to figure anything out. You just know you need to figure out what is imbalanced and figure out which one that you need. If you do muscle testing, you can also do muscle testing to choose that as well. So let's look at what is the plan? How do we do this, right? I'm a firm believer if you have the skill, you will do whatever you can whenever. The reason we don't take action is because there's fear of the unknown. We've ever never done it before. We don't know how. So I'm teaching you the skills to aromatherapy healthy. So this is our Hope Squad support system. Everybody needs a Hope Squad. You know, Hope Squad, we love because it really builds this strong camaraderie in our school system to help kids uh, to feel loved and nurtured and know that they have a support system. But as adults, we need a Hope Squad too. There's so many people feeling so down and depressed. Suicide rates are up, depression rates are up, anxiety is up. So how can we be part of the solution? This is how, this is the plan. You add in your core support to nourish your gut, your brain, 
your nervous system, your glandular system, and your elimination system. Sounds like a lot, right? Well, let me tell you, this is your team. To balance your emotions, whether it's anger, fear, grief, worry, bitterness, resentment, to manage your stress, to help you have fun, to be positive, to be motivated in your dream and goal setting, to inspire you to stick with your movement plan or your exercise plan, to sleep better and let your circadian rhythm get back in balance, to stay hydrated and not only stay hydrated and have nutrients coming in, we need to absorb what we're drinking and eating. How do we do that? This team right here, your aromatherapy, your adaptogenic herbs, digestive enzymes, your probiotics, essential fatty acids and minerals do that. This is how I have helped myself, my family, my friends, and so many others have a strong health plan and a health system. So if I ever fall off the wagon, this is how I get back on, but this is my plan to stay healthy. So you can use this whether you need to be proactive or reactive. So let's break this down and get a little bit more specific. Let's talk about anxiety. This is really troubling for so many people. There's acute anxiety where I hey, just kind of feel a little nervous and I'm anxious. And then there's some people it's debilitating. They can't leave the house. Um, you know, it really drives fear as well. And so I have found anxiety to be because, you know, there's a protein deficiency, there's a blood sugar imbalance. Um, that, you know, our nerves are just spasming. They're not, they don't have the nutrients that they need. So how can we help that? One of the quickest ways is to supply aromatherapy to work on the nervous system, to keep it from spasming and going into this heightened state. So I like, you know, um, sell, smells that are spices, citrus, and woods. So our lift blend with the calm work very well for this. So you can diffuse three drops lift, three drops of calm for five to, 50, or, um, five to 30 minutes, depending on the person in the ventilation system. So I have a wide range. If somebody's new to aromatherapy, you want to do five minutes. Um, if they're very sensitive, you want to do five to 10 minutes. Uh, for animals, we're doing a small amount of time in a well-ventilated area. Now, for somebody who's well-versed and you may go, man, I've been using my aromatherapy for years and I love it, and you know how your body responds to using aromatherapy, then you can do this for 10, 15, 20, up to 30 minutes. And then there is sessions where you can do a closed room session working up from five to 30 minutes to help with specific health ailments. And that would be for somebody who is healthy, who does not have major health issues, who do not have allergies or sensitivities, um, and somebody that you have been working with, and if it's yourself, that you, you know this and you know the response. Um, and so, you know, the amount of time that you're doing it will depend on the purpose and the ventilation system. You can also use the comfort and or contentment roll-ons. And then I like to apply them to the wrist and the neck area, but also over the pancreas because we know anxiety is connected with blood sugar imbalance. And so over the pancreas and abdomen regions can be helpful. And then around the ears. So we know that when the fluid system gets off in the body, the urinary system is off, the fluid system is off, so blood and lymph. We know lymph is around the ears. It can throw equilibrium off. And so that's why I'm suggesting around the ears. I love the roll-ons for this. And then you can do your uh, reflexology points on the feet and the hands. Herbally, so here's your herbal support program. So the program would be choose aromatherapy to diffuse and or choose a roll on. And then the program that I like for uh, anxiety busting is Cinemate because this is going to help balance the anxiety and the blood sugar. I like the Renew because it's calming and it's strengthening absorption in the gut. 
the pro bio because we need our gut and our brain to really communicate and go, hey, chill out, don't stress, no anxiety, we got this. You need adaptogens because they help you adapt, right? So the adaptable is important here. Infatuate, I love the infatuate and I, I don't think it gets as much credit as it needs for nerve support to strengthen the coating on the nerve. So our nerves are like slip and slides so that everything can communicate better without having to freak out and be anxious. And then with soul complete protein, right? Our protein balances our blood sugar. This is how you integrate your herbs and your aromatherapy for a proactive approach or a reactive approach. Proactive means let's not get it anxious. <laughs> we can do that too. For depression and loneliness, I like the citrus, spicy, and floral scents, especially together. So here I like balance and lift together. So you can do three drops of balance, three drops of lift, five to 30 minutes, depending on the person. You can also do courage or comfort roll on, applying that to the wrist and the neck, to the liver, um, because when we're depressed, our liver is deficient. Liver's not, there's not enough circulation going on. Um, and so over the abdomen area too, to support the gastrointestinal tract for gut brain connection and around our temple region, you can also look at the reflexology points on the feet and the hands um, for liver as well. And so herbally, I like to add in the Excel for uh, circulation and glandular support. I like the Infatuate for um, you know, the good fats for the GI and neurotransmitter health, probiotics, the Adaptable, the Soul Complete, again, to balance that blood sugar out, but also it's nutritious. We're feeling depressed. We need a hug, you know, and so comfort and lift are like your hug in a bottle. Your soul complete is like a hug for your gut. And the soul maca is very good for glandular um, and hormonal type of depressions. For cognitive support, I like to do the um, confidence and courage roll-ons. I like to diffuse, clarify, and balance together because this is gonna give us like this camphor, mint, floral, woodsy type of scent. You can apply the roll-ons to the wrist, to the temples, the base of the neck, the abdomen, the reflexology points. You can also combine the essential oil blend into the Soul Flex a C cream and use it as a topical cream as well. And then herbally, I like to add in the Neuro IM, the Soul Vital, because minerals drive nutrients in at the cellular level, the Infatuate, ProBio IQ, Soul Flex PI, because with cognitive support, we know we really need some strong anti inflammatory, antioxidant support, and then the protein. So here is our soul blends in action. You can diffuse them or you can add them to a carrier, such as the Soulflex AC cream. You can mix it in water for a spray. Um, you know, if you have a carrier oil, your olive oil, sunflower oil, you can add it in for that. You can add it into Epsom salt or sea salt and use that as a bath salt. Um, you can add in some Soulflex AC cream to that or some oil to that to make it like a slushy uh, salt scrub, which is great exfoliation for the skin and the feet. You can also do a bowl of your Epsom salt and put the Soul Essential Oil blends in there based on the ones that you need or the ones that you like and mix them up and use it as a smelling salt. So that would be your non-electric room diffuser. You know, you can keep it in your drawer. You can pull it out and smell it in the middle of the day. You can sit it on the counter and it's like your little diffuser. Um, and it's, it's just so good to, to use it that way. And then you have your roll-ons. Again, they're pre-diluted, grab and go for your self-care. It's your simple oil system. So here is a great guideline on how you choose to dilute um, 
which dilution ratio do you use when you're formulating and you're creating your own aromatherapy blends with the soul essentials? So you want to look at the purpose. What is the purpose? Is it for a human? Is it for an animal? What is it for? What are you, what are you making this for? And then you want to assess the person or the pet. So who needs it? And you want that proper assessment looking at their age, their health condition, is it strong or is it weak? Where, where are they? Uh, safety guidelines and contraindications. So we want to look at, you know, cinnamon oil can have some blood thinning properties if you use it too much, meaning you're diffusing it for more than 15 minutes um, and, you know, in, a, in not a well-ventilated area, um, you know, where you're using the comfort roll-on for, you know, you're putting it on like every five minutes for like two hours. That's a lot. Um, so we want to use that in moderation and all of your blends are balanced out, but we still want to be mindful to the safety precautions, uh, any contraindications to the person, any sensitivities that they have, any allergies that they may have. And then you want to look at the dermal and olfaction compatibility. So, you know, with the integrity of their skin, is it very thin? The roll-ons are going to be great because they're pre-diluted, they're going to be safe. But if you're making up your own using, uh, say you're putting together a one ounce of the Soulflex AC cream with, um, you know, the lift and the, and the contentment together, you're going to not want to do too much lift because that cinnamon can be irritating for somebody with thin skin or weak skin. So one drop goes a long way. Right, so more is not better in the world of aromatherapy. And then olfaction compatibility means sometimes people smell something and they go, oh my gosh, it's super strong. All right, well then one drop would be all you need. You don't need 10 drops in the blend. And then you're looking at potency, how much is needed to produce that therapeutic result. So we have a three, a three prong approach. Um, we're looking at somebody's constitution. We're looking at the person, age, health conditions, safety, allergy, sensitivities, dermal and olfaction compatibility. And, you know, we're looking at um, where are they at? If they are babies, uh, children, elderly, somebody with a lot of sensitivities, they have serious health issues, um, you are making up a salt or a compress or a diffuser blend. If any of those in that box apply, you want to do a 1% or less dilution ratio, right? So what is that? You know, that means a very small amount of whatever you're making is going to contain, you know, or, or take up the essential oil portion. And so math wise, that's going to equate to less than five drops per ounce for a medium dilution ratio that's going to be a two to three percent this is most commonly used that would be about 20 drops in a two ounce blend this is uh, going to be for healthy people if you were making up a cream like with the Soulflex ac cream a massage oil a spray or a salve you could follow this as long as you assess everything else um, and then a strong blend which is a four percent or higher why would you use that um, you're doing it with healthy people for a short period of time, but there's a local area that needs specific help, like the neck. The neck is really tense from sitting at the computer so much. So maybe we make it stronger and we just apply it to that area and we're doing it once a day for five days. It's not a long period of time. Um, and so that would be, you know, anywhere from 30 to 40 drops per two ounce. Um, and so that gives you some guidelines to feel comfortable with. All right, I love the oils. I know what they do, but how do I use them? This is how. So we always want to aromatherapy responsibly. And so with safety guidelines and quality, you want to assess your own uh, personally, but also with people that you're helping, your family, your friends. Um, your clients. And so you want to look at dermal, respiratory, um, and internal. 
right? So those are your three ways, dermal, which is topical application, respiratory, which is inhalation and internal. We're not talking internal. I'm not teaching you guys internal because there is a lot to know if you're doing that. You really need to work with a trained clinical aromatherapist if you're going in that direction because you know there's linings and internal organs involved here. So you want to make sure you're getting the proper training. So everything that I'm sharing with you is gonna be through inhalation or a topical application making sure that you use the proper dilutions with kids, elderly, and those with serious health conditions. Know that um, your citrus oils, they can have photosensitivity to them. So we do have, um, you have fruits in uh, the Lift blend, and then also in the um, um, Balance blend. And so those have been balanced out, but I still want to share that safety measure with you. And then looking at quality, we wanna make sure that there's purity and potency, and we have done that for you. In addition to that, we have also made sure that we are supporting conservation and ecological sustainability. That is so important when it comes to the aromatherapy world is that we want to make sure our plants um, are not, you know, sacrificed and, and used in essential oils and then, you know, used improperly or, you know, cut or not used um, or created, you know, distilled properly. Um, at Soul Naturals, we do this. We make sure they're pure. We make sure that they're potent through the testing. We make sure that our sources follow conservation and ecological sustainability. This is just so important. So I'm sending out an SOS to you. Soul oils save. It's your scent operation system. Simple oil system. Who doesn't need that, right? Support, opportunity, and sustenance. It's gonna help you show optimal sanity. I mean, we all need that right now. How else can we support our mental and emotional health than really having strong sanity right now? Shower our soul and then share our SOS. This is part of Soul's Hope Squad. So shower, you know, your neighbor's soul as well. This is so important to help yourself, but that we also pay that forward for the people that don't know that they're, you know, we have these powerful tools that are out there. So I appreciate so much you guys joining us. Um, and, you know, diving in deep with understanding the power we have behind our soul essential oils. Thank you so much. And uh, I just wish you all the best health, uh, the best mental and emotional health.